So the question, the quest, one of the questions we had was, can we shrink this unit down further and still offer the same performance? Um, so the answer is yes. The limiting factor of the unit and how it performs is actually in the pump and the motor. In this design, it's a fully encased unit, so you can't see the pump and motor, but it's built pretty tight to the motor and the pump already. And the reason we do this is because then we can incorporate some accessory storage and organization features. So if you were to shrink the whole unit to call it the bare housing of the pump and the motor, you'd find it difficult for places to store, let's say, the wand or the gun or the tips or the electrical cord and so forth. You get to a design that's much more like some of the commercial units that are basically hung up on a wall and they don't concern themselves at all with where you would store the gun or the hose or the foam blaster or anything like that. So it really becomes a design decision because this unit here was really designed as an all-in-one unit for convenience and for the user that just wants to use their pressure washer occasionally, put all the accessories back and store it on a shelf in their garage. The design, which doesn't incorporate any type of storage, is typically more geared towards a pro user that has a complete setup on the wall and has already a place for their hose and gun and wands and all that stuff. So it is possible. And actually where this design breaks from a lot of other pressure washers is we intentionally put the most powerful motor and pump in as small as package as possible. I think a lot of other manufacturers, what they've done over the years is I'm not saying they're trying to trick consumers, but they basically put the same motor and pump and put bigger and bigger plastic housings or metal frames and so forth to give consumers the impression of more power, when in reality the pump and the motor are really the same.